And finally on tonight's fishing tips, Ray and Mandy talk about one of the fastest growing sports in the fishing world, bass fishing. And they give us some of their tips on their favorite ways to reel in the big ones. Bass fishing is growing and growing in Minnesota. It's been huge in the south for many, many, many decades really. But more and more people are getting into bass fishing in Minnesota. So we're going to do a couple of segments uh, this summer on bass fishing. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about finesse fishing with jigs and what we call a wacky worm. And basically I'm going to show you the basic setup with a spinning outfit. Uh, and you can use this with casting reels or spinning outfits, which, whichever you prefer. But what I have hooked up today is one of my favorite techniques. I have a very, very small 1 seconds, 1 uh, ounce mushroom jig head, and I've got a little plastic worm on it. And basically the technique is to throw it out in the weeds and then slowly walk it back through the weeds. And when the bass bite it, it'll feel just like a tick. It's just going to be a tick. It's not going to be a big wham bite back, a bite rather it's just going to be a little subtle tick and I usually let them have it for about a second or two and then I set the hook I use a braided line uh, there are a variety of different companies that make braided lines but I like braided line because it's so sensitive you can feel everything so that's one way another way is what we call wacky worming I just take a plain hook and you can use little o-rings sometimes people use an o-ring so they don't destroy the worms and they slide the ring over this and I don't use any other weights I just use a plain hook and this worm and I throw it out and when it drops in the water it goes like this and when the fish are really not biting very well they just cannot resist that wacky worm two great techniques a little bit bigger baits but this is absolutely one of my favorite ways to fish it's called a Texas rig and with a Texas rig you've got a bullet weight here that you can either set it so it can slide so when that weight hits the bottom the bait comes up and then you jig it again and it goes back down. You can also set these, it's called pegging them. You just simply insert a little plastic piece and that'll actually peg that weight uh, directly down on top of that bait. I use either a three, a four, or a five wide gap hook and then tip it with your favorite plastic. This one right here is a, is a craw tube, one of my favorites to use. Um, and there again, just like Ray, I've got braid on here. They're super ultra sensitive. Uh, this is really good for a flipping pitch. So you're flipping it into reeds or cattails uh, and slowly bringing it back, popping it as you go. Another option that you can use is a jig. And this jig uh, has a weed guard on it. And there again, when you're throwing it into thicker cover, this can be thrown pretty much anywhere. It's really versatile. You can throw it into cabbage or coontail or into the reeds too. And the Jig head itself, uh, you can go a quarter, three sixteenths, half, uh, even in late fall you can go up to an ounce for, for big ones. Uh, it's got a little bit of skirting material here, it's got a weed guard, and then I've tipped this one with a, a craw trailer on it. So as it flaps and you bounce it back on the bottom, its little pinchers here just look like a live crayfish. So those are some bass tips. Practice them and you'll definitely catch some bass. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.